gym tonight, and I uh, I didn't get my food in, so gotta eat some chicken on the way to the gym. I got the full plate of chicken right there. This is what I mean. I don't want to tell you guys what we gotta do. Pre workout food. To get for the proteins. It always, you can never have enough protein. You can never be too big. Always eat protein. You don't want to catch any cramps. Mm hmm. I mean, yeah. You can never have enough. I mean, I don't recommend eating before the gym, but I'm a savage, so. Plus, I've had two bag of chips all day, so. I figured that a little bit of chicken wouldn't be too bad. Uh, so. I mean, I don't even know what to say, really. Eat some chicken, go to the gym, get big, lift, and have fun. Who doesn't like chicken? Who doesn't like the gym? And if you don't like either one of those, I mean, come out from underneath that rock. So, I'm going to uh, eat my chicken and stop speeding. I'm not trying to have an accident. It'd be a shame if I lost my chicken when I had an accident. So, I'll talk to you in a little bit. So, now I'm here at the gym. Planet if that, ooh, and I absolutely devoured that chicken. Now I'm going to get a great pump in. You'll thank me later. Healthy food, bananas, fruits, chicken. If you're doing legs, I always do chicken on leg day. It's just a habit. Chicken on leg day. Um, it is perfect for, I don't know. But it's got to be perfect for something, right? I don't know. I just eat chicken before leg day. It just seems to help me out. You should try it. If you have any more ideas, though, for foods or something else you should probably eat, let me know. I'll try it. I'll eat, eat it before the gym. I'll get a pump in if I get hurt. Workman's compensation or something, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah. That was weird. I don't know. But chicken before leg day. Fruit before cardio. That's just something I do. I'm going to keep the back straight. One of the exercises for the day, lower back exercises that helps with walking, sitting down too long. This is most of the problems people get. They straighten their back, so you strengthen that back. A lot of your back problems will go away, so that uh, workout is key to lower back problems. So if you have them, you should probably do that. In light increments first, and then increase to heavier. And uh, stand in anything. You can say, oh, it hurts my back, my lower back hurts. That helps with it. And you want to have a curve in your back. You don't want it to be straight is fine, but like this, it's not okay. So you want it to be curved. Um, that's great for the lower back. I do it a lot to help out. Uh, like I said, I hurt myself a little bit when I used to squat heavy. And now I do this and that fixed everything for me. That's just one of the exercises and I'll show you more in a little bit. This, the top of the bed, so Top of the back. Oh, if I get a good stretch in the back. It makes the back look good. Helps out with the traps. I'm actually here today with my brother. Working out with him. Also doing that back. Good form. Come back down to your ears. You don't really have to go past your ears. Just like down to your ears. Kind of. So he's working out the back today. Getting this good workout in. Not a lot of people in the gym today. That's how I like it. Nice and perfect. So, everything's cool, everything works out. Um, just make sure that you're not putting too much weight on. You want to make sure you're doing it. You want to make sure you're getting a lift in. Not too low, not too high. So, right about, right about there. Uh, 
at least 90 degrees. You can go slightly lower. Any lower than that, you don't really have to. And you don't have to go all the way up. So put the arm be bent at all times. So little bend up here, little bend down here, just right there. It's a perfect motion for it. Um, really helps out with everything we do. Uh, and then uh, after this, usually three sets of ten. Always, you don't have to go up. I stay at the same weight every time. So. So I stay there the whole time through all three sets of 10 at the same weight. And then I write down everything I need to write down so that way I know what I did. So if it gets easy, next time I go up by 5 or 10 pounds, I always three sets of 10 on the same weight every time to help out with that. To help out with everything. So the next one we're going to do middle back and that's just straight back pulls and I'll show you that in a second. So I'm next going to do this machine right here. Straight back pulls. Huh? No, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just gonna go ahead. So straight arms, straight back, tighten it out right there in the back that you want, the tighten right there. Nice straight back. Don't no curve. And I uh I'm gonna do it now too in a second, so you'll see me hit it. It's good. You did all three? Huh? You did all three? Alright, um, I'm gonna do overheads with the cable. Did you get one of those cables over there? And for triceps, yeah, triceps, yeah, overheads. So, I always do machines because you can do the same thing with uh, rows, bent over rows. But then you gotta worry about your lower back and your legs. I always use a machine because with the machines, you it's isolated. You only can use one because you're sitting down. You're locked in, so you only can use one muscle. Like so, right here. Can't really lose my legs. Let's see. Because the legs are locked in. So I can't really use that for support if I'm pulling. There's nothing I can use, so that's why I like it. You can't use anything for support. In the machines, I always do because I only can use that one isolated muscle. I can't use more than one. And that allows me to get to work on my own muscle that I need to get to work in on. Uh, so those are the three, uh, I guess, major ones for today. I'm doing a little personal training with my brother, helping him get in shape. Um, and uh, we also do some ad work, everyday ad work, switches up different stuff, uh, as he did later in different days. But uh, you always want to make sure you're pinching. It always wants to feel like you're pinching every time you're doing the back or not working that muscle, and uh, I recommend doing machines. You can do free weights, but it's just uh, I feel like you get better results with machines because I still have one muscle. Okay. This is key. I drink shit at all times. I go to at least two of these. Uh, now, let's get these things filled up nice and fast for you. Get the water. Got my little ice in there. Keep it cold. Hydration is key. I have to drink a lot of water. Uh, run out of water, get dehydrated, get tired. So, it's one of the things I like to do. Hydration is definitely important, highly important in what you're doing, so I hydrate all the time, as much as possible. Let's go in here. like the main part but I'm gonna get dressed and then I'll, I'll get back with you. The workout uh, which is some triceps which I'll show you another day not today 
we'll show you when you one set just a little preview of it some overheads when you're laying down forces the tries just different muscles you want to work just different muscles all together and then he's going to sit up and he's going to do it overhead just combination of both of them at the same time right into the sit-ups just working on those that tricep extension really pitting tries hard and that's uh we'll show you more previews of that next week uh so yeah we're gonna get up out of here because i have a dinner date that i need to get to and uh I'm not really good with being on time and stuff, so I'll try my best. Alright, I'll see you. It's my man's. Good friend of mine, so can't really be late. So gotta get out of here. No problem, no problem. Uh, so, uh, that's it. Planet Fitness. My spot. I love it there. So, uh, gotta go to this dinner to eat, get some good food. Uh, it's a beautiful young lady. So, uh, yeah, catch you next time. Um, this one was a little shorter back, and I was in a little bit of a rush. Uh, but with triceps, we'll hit it hard. It'll show you a lot more to do, a lot more stuff you can do with it. Uh, I actually thought it would be pretty cold out here because it's so, like, it's like an eerie uh, feel. It's actually not that bad here in Philadelphia uh, with our two months of summer. But, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you uh, next time. Uh, more workouts. Getting strong here at Planet Fitness. It can happen. Machines and Planet Fitness. People didn't think it could happen, but it can happen. It's all about the uh, worth ethic and uh, right form, right muscles, right workouts. And uh, we don't need to lift tons of weight. The risk for injury is way 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 down almost no risk of injury almost so it's it's good for everyone basically so and uh if you think i'm wrong well then let's have a chat about it and i'll prove you that i'm right uh because i lifted uh free weights for a long time and uh didn't really uh got hurt haven't gotten hurt since i've lifted the machines and seeing better results in quicker time uh, so I mean don't really need a spotter either that's big so yeah that was my brother my actual brother I've been training him lately he's trying to get back into it so uh, so if you want to be a part of the training on the videos arguments just have a conversation let me know and uh, I will be more than happy to hear you guys out I love the talk as you can see and uh, I'll see you uh, in a couple days, maybe next week. All right, guys.